again. But coming on, obviously, to we're talking about finance and we're expecting a you know a reduced police budget. And I, I've heard it said that, that we've got maybe 10 years where we're expecting a reduced police budget. Well, that's a happy thought on the moment, isn't it? Uh, I mean, obviously, Boris Johnson's come, come out and said that he thinks maybe 455 officers are going to have to go. Are, are we going to leave police officers? Right, let's let put this into a context. For, for several years now, we've been planning on making reductions uh, as a result of what's called Project Herald, which is about uh, recruiting dedicated civilian officers in our custody office, uh, which is cheaper than using fully fledged police officers, who are also not only more expensive, but actually don't need the powers to do that job within the custody office. Uh, that is a significant part of the reduction that a lot of politicians have been talking about. In the old days, when we used to do civilianisation, we used to recruit a, a, a civilian, a, pl a police staff member in and release an additional cop to the street. Well, we're, we're not in a growth period anymore. But by bringing civilians in, we're actually doing it cheaper and we're making no loss to our operational effectiveness on the streets when we're doing Project Terrorism. So I think we need to be clear about that. So How, however, I don't yet know what money I'm going to get. We don't yet know what the any new government is going to say in terms of in year and future year budget budget allocations. I don't yet know what money I'm going to get from the mayor next year when he sets his precepts uh, from the rights. I don't yet know um, how much income I'm going to get from those local authorities who currently actually buy additional policing for the boroughs, but they'll be under pressure. Or I don't yet know how it might affect the TfL budget, and I currently. Um, to have a deal with TfL where we actually supply at, at a cost additional policing to transport. When I know the effect of the pressure on all their budgets, then I'll know what it means for our budget. Uh, I haven't, I still have a determination to maintain our operational effectiveness. So the first thing I've got to do is make sure I reduce to an absolute minimum uh, the cost of our business support models to maintain my operational capability. That's my intention, that's my ambition. Uh, but we'll have to see where the um, see what the final budget settlements are, and sort of I can speculate like everyone else. But like everyone else, I'm waiting to see who's going to be the government and who's going to make the decisions and what those decisions might be. Of course, and I mean a lot of people actually want to see more police. I mean, can we can we get more police on the streets with the the budget well, strengths sort of, we have? Well, sort of sort of before sort of we've gone into sort of before we listen to what any new government might say, we are putting more more police on the streets. I've already said to you that moving <coughs> towards single patrolling has in effect put over, I think it's about 418 additional officers, the equivalent of 418 additional patrolling officers on the streets of London. That's no mean feat without costing any extra money. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got to do that carefully. We've significantly increased our, patrol, increased our patrolling hours in town centres on a Friday and Saturday night using a combination of officers from out to police stations, but also a massive growth in the special constabulary. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we've got more uniform governance of the streets, thousands and thousands of extra hours in those town centres that, going back some time, we'd almost forgotten how important town centres were, as we quite rightly went to say for neighbourhood teams on estates to build a, a, a lasting engagement with local people in where they live. Actually, we shouldn't forget that people want to go out and enjoy the town centres. These are the places of uh, social interaction, mm. and we need additional presence there. We've certainly increased our patrolling there, so we put additional uniform governments out onto our streets. Um, I can't answer what we might do in the future because I've got to wait and see how much money we've got. But my ambition is to maintain that operational capability. Let's see whether I can maintain that ambition when I actually get the get the budget.